action. Stay with us. We're ready for action now. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Who, by the way, advanced recently. Stone Cold Steve Austin, victorious over Bob Park Plug Holly. Let's take a look at this. Questionably a devastating maneuver. Talk about dominating force. Steve Austin is dominating. Down to the elbow, and then again. Watch this. Oh! Stone Cold advancing. And I might add advancing without the presence of uh, Ted DiBiase, who was driven out of the World Wrestling Federation by Savio Vega. Oh, hang on! Hang on to your heads, folks. Joining us right now, JR, where have you been? Well, I had this uh, I had this deal on this barbecue sandwich, see? Uh, wait a minute. You, uh, wait, I think I know where you were. You were applying for the job to be the manager of the Body Dinas. Well, I did think about that, but not yeah. long. Okay. All I don't right. think I have anything in common with Sonny there, <laughs> the, the, my predecessor. No, I don't think you do either. All right, Savio Vega, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be joining us later on in action in the first round tournament action against Barney Gennetti, we stated before. And Stone Cold Steve Austin, no doubt, is going to be looking on, but right now Stone Cold has to focus on his opponent, Jason Hart. And you have to wonder just how good Stone Cold is now without the services of his manager, Ted DiBiase. Well, after hearing Perfect's interview with uh, Austin last week on the Action Zone, it seems to me that Austin apparently feels that DiBiase was holding Stone Cold back. Without a doubt, that's the same feeling I got. And uh, hey, take a look at Austin. I think he looks better than he ever has. Stone Cold Steve Austin trying to dominate his opponent, Jason Hart, who looks like a yanked that arm right out of the socket. You know, Austin's a very intelligent athlete. Certainly has the ability to formulate his own game plans, his own uh, match strategy. And uh, I see nothing but greatness for this guy. And by the way, ladies and gentlemen, Ted DiBiase, not the only former WWF superstar to uh, leave the Federation. Likewise, as was mentioned on Raw, Big Daddy Cool Diesel and uh, the bad guy Razor Ramon no longer associated with the World Wrestling Federation in any manner, although another organization has signed them, and I would suggest that uh, that organization is likely to attempt to capitalize on the fame of the stars they once were while here in the World Wrestling Federation. All right, Stone Cold with Jason Hart to the corner. Stone Cold is certainly has that ability to change gears. Normally very methodical, doesn't take a lot of chances, but look when Austin gets the advantage. Look at him change gears, and that's an absolute necessity for a superstar. Boy, he's, a, ah, he's aggressive elbow. inside the ring. I respect this guy's wrestling ability and agility. Everyone does, even Savio Vega. Although Savio Vega certainly took Austin to the woodshed, so to speak, as you'd say, JR, in the strap match. Although, again, that was when Stone Cold was under the tutelage of Tim DiBiase. What a suplex. And obviously in that matchup, DiBiase gave Stone Cold some very controversial advice that uh, seemingly backfired and perhaps even cost Austin the victory. Or so Austin would have you believe. Although Austin, I would suggest, is not above uh, making an excuse or two for failure. Well, you got to look at Savio's record, too, in those strap matches. I guess we could say right. he's the king of the leather strap match here in the WWF. He's never tasted defeat. Stone Cold Steve Austin against Jason Hart yet to come here this week on WWF Superstars. Jerry the King Lawler is going to be in action. He will not be bringing a microphone to the ring this time, I don't think. Uh, he's going to respect his opponent a little bit more than that. And boy, is he ever going to respect uh -oh, the ultimate warrior at the King of the Ring. What's going to happen, Mr. Perfect? What if he brought the microphone to the ring when he wrestled the ultimate warrior at King of the Ring? Now, that would be exciting. Yes, it would. But what's the outcome likely to be? Oh, i got to take the King all the way. I think he's got... What it takes to beat the Ultimate Warrior. And a three count here, no surprise, as Jason Hart defeated by Winner Stone Cold Steve Austin. Stone Cold And by the way, Steve JR, ladies and gentlemen, Austin. has left the broadcast position, and he was going to attempt to get a word with Stone Cold Steve Austin. Hey, look, there, there's a, did you see what I saw? A Paul Vera wannabe. Looks like Buckley Adam. <laughs> All right, look at this. Oh, off the side of the head and victorious. JR. It looks like you may meet an old nemesis of yours. It could be Savio Vega in the quarterfinals in the King of the Ring tournament. What are your thoughts on that? If it is Savio Vega, you can you can well bet your money that Steve Austin's gonna put him out of the tournament. I'm sick of Savio Vega. I whipped his butt from barrel to barrel in that Caribbean strap match. Listening to Ted DiBiase is what got me beat. Steve Austin will win. Steve Austin will dominate the rest of the tournament. Mark my words. Thank you, JR. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is a